In the world of cattle ranching, where a passion for the land meets the harsh reality of numbers, there are half-truths, inherited customs, and myths that, like shadows, creep from generation to generation. Myths that whisper in your ear that more is better, that any animal will do if you feed it well, or that certain details are unnecessary expenses. Today, we are going to turn on the light. Welcome, rancher, producer, visionary. Today, we are not going to repeat what you already know. We are going to demolish the myths that are holding back your profitability and build upon their foundations the realities that define success in modern beef finishing. This is not a simple feeding manual. It is a declaration of war on inefficiency, a roadmap to unleash the true potential sleeping in your herd. Prepare for a deep journey into the heart of feed conversion, where every bite is transformed into muscle and every strategic decision translates into profitable pounds on the scale. Forget assumptions and embrace the science, precision, and management that distinguish industry leaders. What you are about to discover is not an expense. It is the smartest investment you will ever make in your future. Let's debunk the art of fattening together and reveal the realities that will take you to a new level of excellence. Pillar 1. The Genetic Code. The Invisible Foundation of Explosive Growth. Myth. With good food, any calf will get fat. Genetics is a luxury for the few. Reality. This is perhaps the most costly lie in cattle ranching. Genetics is not a luxury. It is the architectural blueprint for your success. Imagine trying to build a skyscraper with the plans for a cabin. No matter how many first-class materials you use, the structure has a limit. The same goes for your animals. Feeding a bovine with mediocre genetic potential is like pouring high-octane fuel into a low-performance engine, a monumental waste of resources. The reality is that the first step toward exceptional finishing happens. Long before the first grain of feed touches the bunk, it lies in selecting a genetic code designed for efficiency. We are not talking about specific breeds, but about measurable and heritable traits. The DNA of growth. Look for animals whose lineage demonstrates an innate capacity for feed conversion. These are the individuals that seem to have a more efficient internal engine, transforming forage and grain into muscle mass with astonishing ease. This isn't magic, it's decades of selection. Body architecture. Carcass conformation is key. You need animals with a robust but not coarse bone structure, capable of supporting rapid muscle development. Look for loin width, rib depth, and voluminous hindquarters. This is the chassis that will be filled with high-value meat. Investing in predictability. When you invest in breeding stock, whether through bulls or semen, you are not just buying an animal. You are buying data and certainty. Expected progeny differences, EPDs, or estimated breeding values, EBVs, are your crystal ball. They allow you to predict with incredible accuracy how offspring will perform for crucial traits like weaning weight, average daily gain, ribeye area, and marbling. To ignore this data is to navigate a storm without a compass. The Smart Purchase When acquiring calves for your feedlot, become a detective. Don't just look at the weight on the scale. Observe their behavior. Are they alert, curious, with a shiny coat and no signs of respiratory stress? Evaluate the uniformity of the group. A homogeneous lot is infinitely easier to manage and feed, reducing competition and social stress. Ask about their origin and the health management they have received. A healthy animal with a good genetic base will respond to the finishing program exponentially. The fundamental reality is this. Genetics sets the potential ceiling. Everything else you do, nutrition, health, management, will determine whether you reach that ceiling or fall short. Pillar 2. Precision Nutrition. The fuel that unleashes. Potential. Equites et. 
Just fill the feed bunks with plenty of grain and your set. Quantity is the key. Reality. This myth is a recipe for financial disaster. Finishing nutrition is not an act of filling, but an act of balancing with pinpoint precision. It's the difference between an elite athlete and someone who simply eats a lot. The goal is not just for the animal to gain weight, but to gain the right kind of weight, muscle, in the most efficient way possible. The Dynamic Duo – Energy and Protein Think of energy as the gasoline and protein as the bricks. You need the exact amount of gasoline for the brick trucks to arrive at the construction site at the right pace. An excess of energy without enough protein will result in animals that get fat too early, depositing costly back fat instead of valuable muscle. An energy deficit, even with adequate protein, will bring the entire process to a halt. The key is to dynamically adjust the balance of metabolizable energy and crude protein according to the finishing phase. One formula for starting, another for growing, and a final one for finishing. Forage, the foundation of rumen health. Another dangerous myth is thinking that in an intensive feedlot, forage is mere filler. A fatal mistake. Good quality forage, be it pasture, hay, or silage, is the guardian of rumen health. It provides the necessary fiber to stimulate salivation, maintain a stable rumen pH, and prevent metabolic disorders like acidosis, which can devastate weight gain and animal health. A healthy rumen is an efficient conversion engine. A sick rumen is a drag on your operation. The synergy between good forge and a well-formulated concentrate is where the magic happens. The Invisible Catalysts – Minerals and Vitamins Underestimating Micronutrients is like having a race car without spark plugs or oil. Minerals, copper, zinc, selenium, calcium, phosphorus, and vitamins, A, D, E, are the catalysts for hundreds of metabolic processes, from immune function to nutrient absorption and muscle building. A deficiency, no matter how subtle, creates a bottleneck that limits the full genetic and nutritional potential. They are not an expense. They are an insurance policy to ensure your primary investment in feed works at 100%. Water, the critical and forgotten nutrient. It seems obvious, but its importance is monumental. A bovine can reduce its dry matter intake by up to 50% if access to clean, fresh water is limited or of poor quality. This means half of your expensive ration is being wasted. Ensure multiple, always clean, easily accessible waterers with an abundant flow rate. In hot climates, fresh water helps mitigate heat stress, a direct enemy of weight gain. The nutritional reality is that precision is everything. It's not about gross quantity, but a calculated synergy of ingredients working together to unleash the genetic potential of your animals, pound by pound. Pillar 3 strategic health, shielding your investment and efficiency. If animals are tough, you only treat them when they show clear signs of sickness. Reality, waiting to see a sick animal is like waiting to see smoke before calling the fire department. The damage is already done. In feedlot ranching, health management is not reactive. It is a proactive shield. Every parasite, every bacterium, every virus is a thief that steals nutrients, energy, and ultimately, pounds and profitability. An animal fighting a disease, even a subclinical one you can't see, is diverting energy and protein from meat production to its immune response. To prevent is to win. Prevention is the most profitable strategy. A rigorous vaccination schedule, designed with your veterinarian and tailored to the challenges of your region, clostridial diseases, respiratory diseases, is not a cost, it's a defensive wall. The same applies to strategic deworming for both internal and external parasites. Rotating active ingredients to prevent resistance is an essential tactic. The Invisible Enemy 
Parasites, flies, ticks, and lice are not just a nuisance. They're constant. Activity creates chronic stress that reduces feeding and resting time. They are also vectors for serious diseases. Internal parasites compete directly with the animal for the nutrients you are providing in the feed bunk. You are feeding both, your animals and their parasites. Effective control is an investment with a direct and measurable return. Biosecurity, your impregnable fortress. Your operation is an ecosystem you must protect. Implementing a biosecurity protocol is fundamental. This includes a strict quarantine for all new animals, controlling access for vehicles and people, and cleaning and disinfection protocols for facilities and equipment. Each measure is a brick in the wall that protects your herd from external threats. The trained eye. Train your staff to become the first line of defense. They must be able to recognize the subtlest signs of illness. An animal that isolates itself, has a lowered head, loss of appetite, or a change in its posture. Early diagnosis and treatment can not only save that animal, but also prevent an outbreak that could decimate your profits. The health reality is that a healthy animal is an efficient animal. Every dollar invested in preventing disease returns, multiplied in pounds of meat and peace of mind. Pillar 4. Management and Animal Welfare. The environment that boosts results. Wythe. Their cattle, they're built to endure. A little stress doesn't do them any harm. Reality. This is one of the most damaging and outdated beliefs. Stress is the silent and lethal enemy of finishing. A stressed animal releases cortisol, the stress hormone. Cortisol is catabolic, meaning it breaks down muscle tissue for energy. Literally, stress can cause your animals to lose weight or, at best, drastically slow their gain. It also suppresses the immune system, making them more vulnerable to disease. Calmness is weighed in pounds. Gentle, patient handling without yelling or striking is not being soft, it's being smart. Using low-stress handling principles, understanding the animal's flight zone and using their natural behavior to guide them drastically reduces cortisol levels. Calm animals eat more, rest more, and convert feed more efficiently. The value of personal space. Overcrowding is a massive stress generator. It causes fierce competition for feed and water, where dominant animals thrive and timid ones fall behind, creating terrible non-uniformity in the lot. Ensuring adequate living space per animal in pens, feed bunks, and waterers is a direct investment in harmony and equitable weight gain. Comfort is productivity. Providing environmental comfort is a productive strategy. Shade in hot climates is not a luxury. It prevents heat stress, which causes feed consumption to plummet. Protection from wind and excessive cold prevents animals from burning valuable energy just to stay warm. Dry, clean bedding prevents foot problems and encourages rest, a crucial period for rumination and nutrient assimilation. Smart grouping. The social structure of cattle is complex. Forming uniform lots by weight, size, and temperament minimizes fighting for dominance and social stress. Once groups are formed, avoid mixing them unnecessarily. Every time you introduce a new animal, the fight for hierarchy restarts, costing, energy, and pounds. The reality of animal welfare is that a low-stress, high-comfort environment isn't just an ethical issue. It's an elite production strategy. Comfortable, calm animals are more productive meat factories. Pillar 5. Monitoring and Records The GPS to Sustained Profitability Wythe. I know my animals. I keep track of everything by eye and in my notebook. Reality. The rancher's eye is invaluable, but in a game of thin margins, it's not enough. Relying on intuition alone is like flying a plane without instruments. To truly optimize, to make decisions based on facts and not perceptions, you need data. 
What isn't measured cannot be managed, and certainly cannot be improved. The scale is your confessor. Periodic and systematic weigh-ins are your most powerful diagnostic tool. They allow you to calculate average daily gain, ADG, the vital indicator, of performance. With this data, you can immediately identify underperforming animals, allowing you to take corrective action, adjust their diet, check their health, or remove them from the lot before they become a loss. Feed conversion, the holy grail. This is the ultimate indicator of efficiency and profitability. Measuring how much feed a lot consumes to produce one pound of meat, feed conversion ratio, FCR, tells you exactly how efficient your system is. A low FCR is synonymous with high profitability. Comparing the FCR between different diets, genetics, or management styles gives you the power to optimize your operation with surgical precision, ETTC, power of a detailed record. Your record book, or management software, is your most valuable asset. Write everything down. Dates, weights, feed type and quantity, ration costs, health treatments, veterinary costs. This information is pure gold. It allows you to calculate the cost per pound produced, analyze the profitability of each cycle, and make informed decisions for the future, rather than repeating the same mistakes. Post-mortem analysis. The evaluation doesn't end when the animal leaves the farm. If possible, get the data from the processing plant. Carcass weight, dressing percentage, the percentage of live weight that becomes carcass, and its grade. Cross-referencing this data with your records gives you a 360-degree view. Did the genetics. You selected perform as expected. Did your finishing strategy produce the desired marbling? This feedback is crucial for fine-tuning your system, cycle after cycle. The management reality is that data transforms a rancher into a CEO of their business. It allows you to move from reacting to problems to anticipating them, optimizing every resource to maximize profitability. As we have seen, optimizing finishing to gain more and better meat is not the result of a magic trick, but of demolishing, myths, and building a system based on proven realities. It is the unstoppable synergy of superior genetics that sets a high potential, precision nutrition that acts as high-performance fuel, a health shield that protects the investment, low-stress handling that enhances results, and constant monitoring that guides every decision. Each pillar supports the others. The best genetics are useless with poor nutrition. The best ration is useless if parasites consume it or if stress prevents its utilization. By implementing these realities in a disciplined way, you will not only see an increase in the pounds produced, you will see an improvement in efficiency, a reduction in costs, and most importantly, greater profitability and sustainability for your business. The knowledge is now yours. The difference between an average result and an exceptional one lies in the attention to detail and the will to challenge old customs. It's time to take your cattle operation to the top. If you are ready to leave the myths behind and embrace the realities that transform ranching, if you found this deep analysis valuable, this is your next step. Subscribe to our channel right now. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video where we will continue to demystify cattle production. Share this video with other ranchers who, like you, are striving for excellence. And most importantly, leave your comment below. What myth about cattle feeding has cost you the most money? What reality has given you the best results? We want to create a community of elite ranchers. Join the conversation. Let's transform the future of meat production together.